Nalham of Programming. In today's session, we are going to learn about network media. So the basic terminologies associated with network medium are hub, switch, router and the final one is bridge. So each of these are a particular medium which transmit data from source to destination device. First, we can learn about hub, right? So hub is a central device which is used to connect n number of nodes to form a single network, right? So in star topology, we have seen it is in, a, in case of a star topology, multiple devices will be connected to a single node. That single node is called as hub. So this hub device is used in case of a star topology, right? So the hub device transmits all the received packages to the destination node. So as it, as it transmits entire packages to the destination device, there may be a chance of data collision. For example, if a node he is requiring a particular source at that particular time, B will also require that particular resource, right? So, this will result in data collision. So, using hub will not provide more security to the network, right? So, this is about hub device and we can move on to switch. So, switch is also a central device which is used to connect multiple devices to form a network. So, the difference between switch and hub is switch determines the source and destination of a data packet and then it transmits the data packets. Moreover, it performs better than the hub as it uses some of the techniques. The techniques used by the switch are store and forward, cut through and fragment free. So, in store and forward technique, the switch device will store all the received data packet. It examines the each data packets. If there is no errors with each data packet, then only it transmits the data packets to destination. So in case of a cut through technique, it transmits all the received data to the destination device. But in case of a fragment free, it keeps on transmitting based on the bytes of a received data. That is, it will hold the frame of data until the first 64 bytes are read from the source as it can detect a collision before forwarding. So, as the switch device involves certain techniques to transmit a data, it performs better than have right so another one is router router device connect two different devices and it transmits the data depending on the ip address of the particular device moreover the router contains a table called routing table using which it will transmit the data so another one is bridge so bridge can be used to connect n number of network segments to each other so, bridge can be seen in case of a bus topology, right? So, similar to switch, bridge device also evaluates the data packet before transmission. So, though it connects each devices with each other, the traffic and the collision occurs in case of a bridge device is reduced when compared with other devices, right? So these are about the basic terminologies used under the used under network media, right? So hub, router, bridge and switch. So the difference between hub and switch is that hub transmits all the received data packet to the destination device. Whereas switch examine each individual data packets. If the received data packet is error free, it will transmit transmit the data right so let's move on to types of network which is nothing but wired and wireless so to set up a wired network we need a cabling right so that is nothing but wiring 
means the wiring used in case of wired network is it can be either twisted pack cables, fiber optic cables, coaxial cables. So I don't want to go deeper into these cables as it is very basic thing, right? So twisted pack cables will be developed with some copper cable, copper wires and the use of fiber optic cables is you can detect a various techniques if using this fiber optics right so i don't want to go deeper into this so let's move on to wireless network so the network carriers used to set up a wireless network are radio transmission microwave transmission and bluetooth tra transmission so radio transmission uses electromagnetic waves for transmitting a data so the thing with radio transmission is it can transmit data from 1 mbps to 10 mbps only so that is a drawback of your radio transmission so we can move on to microwave transmission where it sends a data over a larger bandwidth than your radio transmission so though it transmit data to a higher bandwidth it can easily be affected with the environmental conditions such as rain, storm, etc. Right? So, environmental conditions are the major drawback of your microwave transmission. So, then we can move on to Bluetooth which we use in our everyday to life. Right? So, it transmits data between two Bluetooth enabled devices. For example, it can transmit data from a uh, Bluetooth-enabled Bluetooth computer device to a Bluetooth-enabled mobile device or it can transmit data to a two Bluetooth-enabled computer or two Bluetooth-enabled mobile device. So, as like your radio transmission, the drawback with Bluetooth device is also it can communicate and transmit data only within the 10 meters of range. So, that is a drawback of Bluetooth. So this is about your network media and types of network. So in case of network media we have learned about four devices which is hub, switch, router and switch. In uh, types of network we have learned about wired and wireless. In case of a wired network we need cabling to set up a wire, wired network. To implement cabling we can either use coaxial cables, fix fiber optic cables or twisted pad cables so in order to set up a wireless network we can either use radio transmission microwave transmission or bluetooth bluetooth transmission so this is about this particular video stay tuned with hum of programming for getting more videos like this and subscribe to our channel for getting more updates regarding programming thank you